Last night in the middle of our show, Congresswoman Kathleen Rice lashed out at our guest Dana Lash on Twitter, tweeting, I'm just going to say it, NRA and Dana Lash are quickly becoming domestic security threats under President Trump. We can't ignore that. And we, of course, can't ignore unhinged rhetoric from a member of Congress. So Dana Lash is back with us. Uh, Dana, I, I broke that news to you a couple of minutes before the show ended last night, and uh, you weren't happy about it. Have you gotten any happier about it in the last 24 hours? Well, I'm incredibly shocked, Mark, and it's mm. good to be with you again. Yeah. And you're right. You completely actually took me by surprise mm. with this because yeah. I was unaware until the moment that you had said it. Look, let's uh, this, this congressional member... Uh, who sits, by the way, on the Committee for Department of uh, Homeland Security right. as well as Counterterrorism counter yep. and Intelligence. She's got a lot of influence. I am not a domestic threat. I, I mean, for crying out loud, I'm a mom, Mark. I'm yeah. a mom. I go to Walmart and I take my kids to Chick-fil-A. And I and millions of other men and women across the country, we belong to a group of like-minded individuals yeah. that support and advocate for the Second Amendment. That's who we are. And we believe in that right. We believe in the rights that our men and women in uniform fight for every single day. By the way, Mark, a lot of those men and women in uniform are members of the NRA. Right. And we also believe with the Second Amendment, Mark, we support the First Amendment. I love a free press. But I also believe, Mark, in the free people's right to fact check that free press. And for this, Democratic congressional member here, Kathleen Rice, thinks that we are domestic threats. It's not a small thing. It's one thing. You, you got into a spat today with the actress Patricia Arquette. And it's one thing for some Hollywood minor celebrity to be uh, lobbing rhetorical bombs at you. But it's not a small thing when a legislator on powerful and influential security and counterintelligence committees, and not just a legislator, but a former uh, district attorney who, as an officer of the court, should know better, in effect labels you an enemy of the state. Uh, why is she doubling down on this and actually insisting that she has the right to label you an enemy of the state? That's the million dollar question mark. Perhaps she's thinking about running for higher office. And I do fear as to what this may mean. We've reached out and we have asked her office, is she going to send special police to arrest us? I mean, what does this mean? Am I going to be placed on a no-fly list? Because as I've discussed often, we don't really know, in fact, the process by which through which someone is placed on a no-fly no. list, but we do know that there's no legal recourse to get off of it. Yeah. But if, if, we, if I'm a domestic threat, that's a lot. And Mark, this is a congresswoman who in her area, MS-13, is killing black and Hispanic yeah. men, and yet she has harsher words for me and for NRA members than she does MS-13. That says something. No, and actually that's a very interesting point, Dana, because the great question in a way since 9-11 has been who do these people consider domestic threats. If you take, for example, the Taliban supporting dad of the guy who shot up that uh, gay nightclub in Orlando, uh, the Taliban supporting dad uh, during the election campaign was photographed standing right behind Hillary Clinton. So they don't consider Taliban supporters enemies of the state. Uh, you, in that sense, uh, uh, occupy a unique uh, category in the fevered nightmares of uh, the Democrat Party. Well, apparently, I didn't call for jihad. I didn't burn down my college campus, Mark. I haven't destroyed any private property in protesting the inauguration of President Trump. All of that is okay. But when you promise to fact check the media in the United States of America, a sitting Democratic, Democrat congressional member will actually white label you a domestic threat. And I, I just find that I, I've just never seen anything like this before. How no. free are a people, Mark, if you're not free to criticize and fact check your press? And, so and I just, I, Mark, I, I have only one question for, for Congressman Rice, Congresswoman Rice. Is she going to come and arrest me? I'm in Dallas. If you find me that threatening, Congresswoman, come and arrest me. Yeah, that's it. Come, come, come and get a, a Congressman Rice. Put your money where your mouth is or do the decent thing and recognize that a legislator should not be labeling free she citizens domestic enemies. Thank you, Dana.